These zip ties cost over $300. And these zip ties only cost about a dollar. But why would you spend $300 on zip ties when you can just go to Harbor Freight and get the cheap ones? Today we're testing these and a bunch of other tools to figure out if you really need to spend more money or if you can get away with the cheap stuff. Oh, there's some stuff stuck in there. Ah! I'm Jeremiah, he's Zach. Welcome to Donut. Now we have 10 zip ties that are currently holding this engine up. And a pack of 100 of these zip ties costs $304. Now, the reason they're so expensive is because they're made out of Tefsil. And Tefsil, it's just a brand name type of plastic that's really resistant to corrosive elements. Now, these zip ties, these cost $1.89 for 100 of them at good old Harbor Freight. They're just a standard nylon zip tie, but both of these zip ties are rated at a tensile strength of 50 pounds. Now, we weighed this engine, it weighs in at just over 400 pounds, so we're gonna cut one zip tie at a time and see how many zip ties are left when this thing drops to the ground. I'm gonna cut the first one off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Simultaneously really like this and yeah. hate it. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Going down to eight. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. Uh, nine, it takes nine. It takes nine. All right, so we're strapping up our cheap Harbor Freight zip ties now and we've put 15 on there just in case 10 can't do it. Since these are so much cheaper, the concern is that they're not gonna do as good as the expensive ones. So we're starting with 15 here, but you know what? I have faith that we're gonna get down to seven zip ties before this engine drops. We're halfway through that. I'm trying to only get one at a time. Okay, 14. Okay, 13. 10, oh, that had some, that had a little pop to it. Uh, if we get one more, they're even with the $300 zip ties. Okay, so this takes us down to nine? This takes us down to nine. Oh! <laughs> so it's better. We failed at nine last time. Failed clipping to eight. We're even Stevens right now. Okay. So this is for all the marbles? This is for all the marbles. This is to take the lead. Oh! Yeah! Zip ties before the ah! Oh! Six! What can't they do? Five? Hey, she was. That's a freaking win. I cut through 11 of these zip ties. I was cutting the fifth to leave four zip ties holding the engine up when it fell. That's a huge improvement over your expensive, insane zip ties. Doll, how much were these? A dollar? Buck 89, baby. For a buck 89, you can't go wrong if you need a hoister engine with some zip ties. All right, Zach, so clearly Harbor Freight takes the W in this case. But the real reason these are so expensive is something we're gonna get to right after this message from our sponsor. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. This is the best time to get started in Raid. And if you click the link below or scan the QR code on screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Aina, plus 20,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. Raid Shadow Legends is full of exciting battles with kings and wizards, but don't take it from me, I got my buddy Death Knight here to tell you. Oh yeah, we, uh, we're old childhood friends, good buddies, BFFs. During the upcoming Death Knight Hunt event, players who play for seven days get Ultimate Death Knight for free. The event runs from now through October 27th. Oh, I'm sick of Ultimate Death Knight. We don't need two bone guys. It's like we started with the same skeleton, but this other guy is ultimate? Hey, that's like our high and low car. Exactly. And obviously, I'm the high skeleton warrior. You sure about that? See, ultimate death knight, he's got a gleaming long sword, full plate armor, and magical aura. Well, you, you got a rusty sword, you got torn up chainmail, and you trip over rocks all the time. Hey, hey, walking without flesh or toenails is difficult. Okay. And use promo code DKRISES to instantly upgrade any legendary champion, including Ultimate Death Knight to level 50, five-star ascension. Oh, he's got his own promo code too? I mean, so do I. Oh yeah? <laughs> What's your code? Um, it's, uh, Ultimate Death Knight is the low skeleton. That's not real. That one you made up. Don't use that, people. Hey.
Would this face lie? So check out the Death Knight Hunt event and use the promo code DKRISES to grab yourself Ultimate Death Knight for free between now and October 27th. But here's the thing, the reason these are so expensive is because they're used in nuclear power plants. All right, that's pretty cool. They are able to withstand higher temperature and still maintain their tensile strength. All right, so Job is setting up our rig here. Uh, what we have is a bucket. We're gonna put 50 pounds in it and it's gonna be suspended by the Harbor Freight or the expensive zip tie. We have a heat gun that's gonna be blasting heat directly onto the zip tie itself. So we're gonna see which one can stand up to the heat the longest. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Ah! Ever since I was little, Ever since I was little, I would look nice. Oh. <laughs> 13.63 seconds. Are uh, you ready, Joe? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. That was quick. All right, Jer, what do you think? Which one's going in the toolbox? Which one you stash and which one you trash? Dude, I'm stashing all HF all day, 100%. every day. No way am I paying $3 a zip tie. <laughs> Okay, now we're testing air hammers. I've got my Harbor Freight unit, $12.99. And I got my Jupiter pneumatic, $277 pneumatic air hammer. Hey, yours is longer. It is, it's got a longer snout. Now, an air hammer is a great tool for doing things that you would do with a hammer, but just by pulling a trigger, you can do it hundreds of times a minute. Uh, and these fit into tight spaces where it's hard to swing a hammer. Right off the rip, uh, this feels, you know, it feels like a standard air tool. It's cheap, but that's what Harbor Freight's known for. Okay, so let's talk some specs. This is around four CFM. Cubic feet of air per minute is just the uh, rate of usage of air. These are compressed air tools. So knowing how much air they consume as you use them is important because that lets you know whether or not your compressor can handle running them. Well, Joe, we actually have some studs right here. Spectacular. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna time how fast we can hammer out these studs on this real spacer. Yeah, but. Three, two, one, go. You want to try it? I mean, listen. Come on. Honestly, you're giving a. F it world. looks like you're doing everything you could do. Three, two, one. Twenty-five seconds. It's all in the hips, Jer. I'm leaning like a mother. It's in the hips. <laughs> Okay, now we've got a fresh spacer with five fresh studs. We're gonna try out the Harbor Freight gun, time it, see who comes out victorious. That one is not coming out. It hasn't okay. moved at all. Let's try another. I think that stud is stuck. <laughs> All right, well, interesting results, I guess. Expensive gun worked better. So I don't know, I mean, this is the type of thing where it's like if you need a light duty air hammer that you're gonna use once or twice, mm -hmm. you know, 13 bucks is fine. Right. But if you're working on cars all the time and this is a tool that you intend to use a lot, I would probably spend the money. You know what else I like to use around the shop? What? If I'm not hammering, I'm drilling. <laughs> oh, all right. Up next, we're testing drill bits. I've got a $19 set of titanium coated drill bits here from Harbor Freight. I have a $250 set of Chicago Latrobe Cobalt, and these are actually straw oxide coated. Whoa. Do you know what that is? Uh-uh. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? So I've just got a standard little point. Yeah, they look pretty similar. You've got that secondary angle there. Yeah. Which is probably meant for cutting and ejecting, I would yeah, think. Yeah, that's an ejector hole right there. All right, for the first test, we're gonna drill 50 holes into the decklet of this Chrysler Sebring using a drill bit from the cheap kit and a drill bit from the expensive kit. When we're done, we'll inspect the quality of the holes, we'll inspect the drill bit for wear and damage, and we're also gonna time the whole thing to see which one does it quicker, which is kind of an indicator of sharpness and durability. Speed matters here at the tool party. Speed's all that matters. Are you ready? Ready? Drill! Oh, that was a... Uh... Twenty-four. Oh! Twenty-five holes. 
One minute, 44 seconds, and 44 one hundredths. Hell yeah. Okay, ready, set, go. Ooh, that. That's oh, she's bent now. Oh, you bent her. 132.18. Okay, so I beat you. I beat you in time. And honestly, a lot of these holes look a little bit cleaner than yours. The holes still stayed pretty circular and clean for a bent drill bit, but you don't want a bent drill bit. I mean, in my opinion, that bit is now trash. Chicago with trouble. And that's a Harbor Freight bent bit hole. <laughs> yeah. And this is a pretty, pretty pristine Chicago Latrobe out of a $250 set making holes that look like this. All right, Jerry, so the quality of your holes isn't quite what I was expecting. But this is pretty normal use. I think we should torture test these things and see how they stand up. Let's get tortured. We've got a wrench here, which is made out of tool steel, very durable, hard to drill through, and we're gonna drill through it pretty badly, really, the way that you shouldn't. We're gonna do it quick. No lube, full speed, see what wears out. Just smashing down on it. All right, so up first is our Harbor Freight drill bit out of a kit for $18.99. Okay, let's go. was cool. What, did it break off? It melted, we, we went orange red. <laughs> you know, we got like red hot down at the tip. Then it did like a bend thing. The drill bit bent, it looked like, and then kind of snapped back to straight. It caught it, caught it, it huh? Uh, it literally didn't do much of anything. Cheap drill bit wore about like I would expect a spaghetti noodle to wear. Mm -hmm. It didn't really do anything at all, just melted. And uh, it doesn't look like there was ever a sharp tip there, so. That's an absolute failure. I'm really interested to see what your expensive bit does. Okay. Shall we? Let's do it. Okay, you ready? Yeah! Woo oh, that's awesome! That's a round tip bit. A round tip bit. But it did make some uh, you know. It made a hole. Yeah, it made a hole. It did remove some tool steel. That was you cool. You can see how blue it all is. I mean, that's not the way to work with this material, but it did a pretty good job. Got about at least halfway through, I would say, before the bit overheated, dulled out, and totally rounded off. We welded her over. Oh, that looks cool, though. It does. You know, you might, if you're good, you could probably sharpen that. Yeah, if you're so. drilling often and it's something like if you have a drill press set up and you commonly are moving through metal and stuff like that, you want something that's going to be able to do that repeatedly over time. What we did here was accelerate wear, right? Yep. You know, imagine drilling through sheet metal a thousand times and doing it properly. That cheap drill bit would wear down over that time. But I'm not sure. I think the, the more expensive would do a lot better. Yeah. And by the way, we filmed a way deeper analysis on these drill bits that we couldn't fit all into this video. So we're going to post that on the Donut Underground. For more information on that, hit the join button down below. Up next, we're testing shop vacs. I got a $60 unit here made by Bauer from Harbor Freight. And I have a $620 unit shop vac, brand name shop vac. Why is yours so big? I don't know. What the Lord gave me. You know, you spent six times the money. I know, so does it have six times the sucking power? Not about the size of the sucker. All right, so we have a nice little test here that Kanan and Jimmy set up. Sand, sand with a little bit of debris. That looks like a cigarette butt. It is. Nice. And then we have various fasteners and hardware and more trash and what looks like a big grave digger there. Which... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to go. <laughs> so we're going to hit each line individually, one at a time, and then we're going to time how long it takes to suck all the sand and debris up. Does that sound good? Sounds great. Well, let's see. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm revving it. That's Three, how you know ready. Three, two, one, go. Looks pretty good, Joe. Yeah, it's, it's moving a little slower than I thought it might, but yeah. that's because I'm so down on power, you know? Right. Oh, sucking up the nuts and bolts like it's nothing. Oh, there's some stuff stuck in there. Uh oh. 52 seconds. Uh oh. And total, Job, three minutes, 11 seconds to do three lines. Hey, not bad. Not bad, but you Let's know see what? See how your 10 times more expensive shop vac does. Three, two, one, suck! What the f? What? You didn't suck in that great. It's on you, dog. Oh, he's being impeded by the chunks. 
All right, Jerry, so you beat me by a couple of seconds here and there. Is that worth all the money you spent on it? Heck no, man. Yeah, Are you I kidding agree. me? If you're gonna pay that much more money, you want that much more performance. And this vacuum, to be completely honest with you, is a little bit of a letdown in that. I thought for sure I'd just be Final test of the day. We're gonna dunk these ends into this five gallon fish tank, see which one sucks up that water the fastest. Are you ready? First one to an empty tank wins. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> and mine's drier. Well. Easily drier. Are you that, Jerry? Uh, well, you know what? What? That is a super bummer. For you. I know. Actually, you know what? That's kind of good news. It shows that you don't have to necessarily spend as much dang money to get just as good of a, yeah. a tool. 620 bucks for this thing, it doesn't suck any faster. So, uh, I don't know, this is a pretty clear winner. I think the Bauer takes the cake. At Ooh. a tenth of the price. At a tenth of the price. And even if it was slower, still a winner in my mind. 650 bucks is insane to me. It would have had to like pick a car up. <laughs> What's up guys, we got a brand new item on donutmedia.com. This sick real mechanic stuff hat. This thing is custom made in the US of A. It's not a blank, oh no, we made it ourselves. And you can get yours right now at donutmedia.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow us here on Donut at Donut Media. Follow Zach at Zach Joe. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. We're different people. Until next time. See you guys.